All right, today we'll be talking about residuals and residual plots. Okay, uh, residuals are just what happens with what you've predicted uh, versus the actual results. So after you get done doing the LSRLs, you'll actually use the residuals to uh, find out if it, it's the line of best fit. So if you look at your data and you're like, mm, I think this is really good and everything, and then you go to your line of best fit, uh, well, you, you have to determine your line of best fit from the residuals and the residual plots. Okay, and so here's how it goes. So we have everything all set up. Okay, I'm going to ignore the other quadrants mainly because we're just focusing on these ones. So if we have everything in here, okay, and this looks like a pretty good one to begin with. Okay, and then we go do our LSRLs and we find it to be something like this. Okay, what we're going to do is, this is our prediction model, okay? Our LSRL is our prediction model of what should be going there. But if you notice, sometimes it's on, like for example, right here, and then sometimes it's off, something right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to use residuals to do a residual plot, and that's going to be a whole different ballgame. Okay, now residual plot is going to pay attention to both the first and the fourth quadrant. Okay, you're going to get positive or negative values. And residuals, let me see if I can get the exact formula. Ah, come on. Well, they have, what is the residual plot formula? There we go. Up. Oh. There we go. Residual is equal to the observed. So in other words, the actual minus the prediction. Okay. All right. So in other words, you would take so for this one right here you would deal with this and then you would actually plug in this value of x right there and you would subtract the two so this one you should get a positive number okay whereas for this one the observed is down here so when you subtract it you're going to get a negative number okay now if you get a bunch of random selections as your residual plot and it should look like a function you should have a line of best fit in other words, the model you picked was the best. Okay, so that one's pretty simple. However, if you do the residual plot and you find that you have some kind of pattern, okay, okay, it's not going to be a line of best fit. So that's the important thing to just remember when working with this stuff. So first off, you need your LSRL for your prediction uh, bar. Then you need to take each residual data point and you need to plug in the actual point. So in other words, you need to go straight down to the X. Okay, find that X, plug it into the LSRL. Okay, plug it in there, get this number, and then subtract that from the actual observed point. Okay, once you do that, you should get these points, and you should be able to find out if it's a line of best fit or not a line of best fit. Okay, that's it. Have a great day.